In this video, I'll cover how to get views from YouTube search, how to do keyword research using TubeBuddy, and tips on finding good keywords that has less competition so you can stand out. So every day, people type into YouTube search and they key in their questions or certain types of information that they're looking for. Then from there, obviously, there'll be search results coming up in the form of videos. Imagine if one of your videos or several of your videos are part of that search results. So here's how we can get the views because you are actually there answering people's questions and serving whatever needs that they're looking for at that particular moment. So in order to take advantage of YouTube search and having your videos appear there, the first thing you need to do is to make sure you identify your target audience questions. List down the top 10 questions that they have, their pain points, their needs, whatever it is that they're looking for. And then from there, you can brainstorm some ideas for your videos. It doesn't stop there though. The next step is to look for good keywords around those questions, which I'll go into detail in the next few minutes. And then finally, once you have both the questions and also the right keywords together, this is when you will create videos and make sure that you insert those keywords into those videos. But wait, out of the million videos that are out there, how do we get YouTube to pick our videos to appear in search? This is where the term keyword search optimization or SEO comes into play. So to rank in search, you need to make sure that your videos are high in demand and low in competition. In other words, to rank in search, you need to make sure that your videos are fulfilling needs that are so specific to your audience that not many channels are covering that topic. So it's all about building momentum. Even though you just have a small number of people clicking on your videos, it's still better than zero. And as you build more and more videos that have all these views coming in, as your channel grows, that's when you can tackle bigger and much broader topics. But always, always start small and be very specific. So in order to help you speed up your process of doing keyword research and finding the right titles to include into your video, using a tool like TubeBuddy will be extremely helpful. So in case you haven't done so, install TubeBuddy first, and if not, I'll leave a link in the description to help you find it. Once you have TubeBuddy installed, I'm gonna show you an example right here of how you can apply it in your keyword research. So let's say we're researching for a very specific keyword here. We're looking for Logitech C922. So this is a very specific webcam model that I wanna do a video of because maybe I'm doing a product review or maybe I'm doing a tutorial on how to use this particular webcam. So once I type these keywords into search, I just click enter, the search result will appear and alongside it will be TubeBuddy's widget. And let's have a look here at the keyword explorer and specifically the keyword score. There'll be some information here that I'll go through. The first thing is the search volume. TubeBuddy uses a traffic light system of sorts. So anything that's under red is pretty poor. And then you want to find as many types of keywords as possible that leaning more towards the green area. Search volume indicates the demand for this keyword. And it indicates roughly about 286,000 search results per month for this specific Logitech C922 keyword. And then it also indicates competition. And in the beginning, I myself was a bit confused about this because I'm thinking, huh, red means less competition, right? No, but in TubeBuddy's own um, explanation, they, they, they do mention that you want even the competition to be on the green side because that indicates that there are less competition. It's confusing in the beginning for a lot of people, but here I am explaining to you, don't get confused. Just make sure everything's more towards the green side of things and you'll be good to go. And so we also have an overall score here, which is showing us it's roughly in the middle, 42 out of 100, which is a good, it's a pass. And you might notice that even though this keyword is fairly competitive, it is searched so often that it's probably worth targeting. So TubeBuddy will immediately give a summary, an assessment to tell you or advise you on whether or not you should pursue this keyword or not. But here's where things get interesting. If you have the paid version of TubeBuddy, you can click here for the weighted score. So what this means is that TubeBuddy will then take into account the current size of your channel, the, the types of videos you are doing and the types of videos that are getting views, and it's gonna process that against the search results and include it into the analysis to give you a more accurate score. So I have the paid version and I'm gonna click this button right here for the weighted score. 
And as you can see, when it comes to the weighted, the score changes dramatically. It's now just nine out of 100, it's showing poor. This means that for my channel, having just the word Logitech C922 may not be the best choice of keywords. First of all, it's a very short keyword. We want something that's a bit longer. So this is what we call long tail keywords. This gives us an ability to be more specific. So TubeBuddy has this very handy feature to get into some suggested keywords for us to look at. In related searches, there are a bunch of keywords here that will be helpful for us to be more specific with. And this is where we can just click on one of these things and see where the rabbit hole takes us. Upon clicking, I can see that the score improved just a little bit, 14 out of 100, it was nine before. And I think we can now do a lot better with this keyword. However, let's go a bit deeper and see, once again, there's related searches that introduces us to new keywords to add on. There's webcam setup, there's webcam review, webcam settings, unboxings, and so on and so forth. When I click on webcam setup, I can get to see the results and it's increased dramatically. It's 42 out of 100 now, it's good. And there's even more suggestions to go even deeper. You can see here, TubeBuddy is suggesting that we go with a Mac setup or we can go with OBS, which is another streaming software that you can use this um, Logitech webcam with. Another way to narrow down better keywords is to use the ABC test. So go ahead to your search bar and then tap in A and you can see there are different alternative keywords and also different suggestions that you can use. Audio quality, alpha gaming, autofocus, alternatives. You can also then explore further by hitting the another key, B. And there are different suggestions that come from there. Backspace and then hit C. And you can keep experimenting all the way to Z just to find what other keyword suggestions and combinations are good for you. Another tip to, to help you in your keyword research and get better results is to use numbers. So one example is to use the year or the date. Let's say Logitech C922, we'll have, um, let's say 2021. And here are a few suggestions that are being suggested here already. You can look here and pick the one that's better. The next technique I would recommend for you to use is to use certain type of problem solving keywords. For example, using the word review, using the word how to, these are problem solving keywords that can help you narrow down your search further. So if I were to put here review, I can see that for this particular webcam model, there are some type of combinations that I can use to get a much better score. Let's say I key in how to at the front, not only is it a problem solving keyword, but it's also a very naturally for someone to ask a question. You can also use the word best. Um, that This is usually useful for uh, listicle type videos like best camera for 2021, best keyboard for 2021, um, best tips on how to lose weight, right? So in this case, best Logitech C922 settings for streaming. So the next tip in order to rank higher on YouTube is to give this video a thumbs up. Just kidding. Uh, but if you do like this video, let me know because then the algorithm and myself would know to make more videos like this one. Yeah. Another tip is to add not just words at the back, but also words at the front. So for my own video, I actually did some keywords around the word Logitech C922 webcam. And then I combined some keywords best and settings at the front and back. And when you look at this search results right here in TubeBuddy, you can just click this tab and you can see a preview of the search results. And my video is ranked number three right now. And there you go, I'm getting uh, quite a bit of views just by ranking on the search. And this way, as you are doing your keyword research, you can also quickly have a sneak peek at your competitors. You can see what kind of titles they're using. You can also take note of the kind of thumbnails that they're using. So later on, as you're planning your video and producing it, you can also consider the type of thumbnail that will stand out better amongst your competition. By the way, if you're looking on more tips on how to grow on YouTube, check out this PDF guide I've made. These are tips that allowed my other channel to grow beyond a thousand subscribers. Link in the description below. Here's the thing, using the right keywords alone does not guarantee that your videos will continue to rank in search. In fact, YouTube continues to do analysis on how well your video performs, and this is going to be measured against new 
and also existing videos in that search result pool. In other words, if you don't have good enough quality videos, your video will not stay ranked high forever, it will continue to be pushed down further and further until eventually it will be hard for anyone to find it because it's going to be lost amongst the sea of other videos out there. So if you're wondering how does YouTube measure video quality, how can you improve your video performance, check out this video I made right here, link will also be in the description below.